beautiful people. So it is Tuesday, um, March the 12th, <laughs> I believe. Um, I am recording today to because I want to touch on a couple different topics. Um, but I just want to start off. I haven't recorded in a month. And I really apologize for that. I know I said that I wanted to record a couple videos a week. Um, if you hear noise, jingling, or whatever, that is that is my dog. He's chasing his tail currently. Um, <laughs> but um, anyway, honestly, I have no excuse as to why I haven't recorded in a month. I um, I'm lazy. <laughs> um, there have been days that I've just not felt good. Um, but, you know, mostly it has to do with my self-esteem. I've recorded, I've recorded a couple videos and then, you know, planned on record, you know, re uploading them. But then as soon as I watched them back and went to edit, I just, no, I just deleted them because there's no way I was going to go on a public forum like this and, you know, looking the way I did. Um, on my last video, I looked a hot mess too, but th I just, I couldn't do that. So, um, today, um, I think, it, I mean, I look a little bit better, but, you know, still. So, this one may actually make it up. <laughs> um, I wanted to touch, like I said, on a couple different topics today. Um, and I apologize, my, my lighting stinks, my camera angle stinks, you can see my quadruple chins, um, that is so cute, he's chasing his tail, but, um, you know, it, it is what it is, <clears throat> but the first topic I want to touch on is, there's, in the past week, there has been quite a bit of Facebook drama, I'm sorry, did I just say Facebook? I meant YouTube drama. <laughs> YouTube drama. Um, in the little circle that I kind of run around in, in, face, in YouTube. Um, I follow a lot of different people. I um, subscribe to several different, you know, different types of uh, channels. But one of my favorite YouTubers, and I am not going to name names in this video because, I mean, I just, I don't feel the need to. If you, um, if you kind of run around the same circle I do and subscribe to the same people I do, you're going to know who I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, one of my very favorite YouTubers, she, I love her, and she has over 34,000 subscribers, so obviously there's a lot of other people that love her too. And she is a daily vlogger, which means she uploads every day. And I cannot go to bed at night without watching her. Um, like, I will stay up just, you know, and wait until she uploads. That way I can watch her video for the day. But she's not posted in the last week. Um, I knew something was wrong as soon as I noticed she didn't upload a video. And this is, this is also someone that I talked to. Uh, we're actually, we are friends outside of YouTube. We're friends, um, on Facebook. No, we're not friends outside of social media, but we are friends on Facebook also. And, um, I have talked to her. Um, but... She, um, I knew something was wrong when she didn't upload. And then I find out that a live video, she said something in a live video that someone threw way out of proportion, took the wrong way, and is now making this girl's life a living, I mean horror story um it, it's it's ridiculous 
and you know this girl says oh I stand for this I stand for that and I'm never gonna let it go but you know what honey what you're doing is wrong because you're taking <clears throat> excuse me you're taking one platform you know you're taking one belief one platform but then you're you know which which is fine I mean what you're against I'm against too okay but you are using something else to make your point that you shouldn't be using okay bullying is a real thing cyberbullying is a real thing okay this other youtuber she has not posted in over a week she has made all her uh, videos private why because this girl is making her li life like I said a horror story she has you know released personal information she is making up lies and stuff that I know for a fact are lies um, so you know and she says oh it's not bullying if I'm stating facts if it's the truth but it's not the truth and you're bullying someone and making fun of someone for things that you you do um, I mean I have watched some of your videos and you do the exact same thing that you're making fun of this other person for doing like how, how is that how is that even reasonable how can you in your mind think that's okay um, you know this this and it's one thing if you want to say hey you know I don't agree with what that person did that's fine because there's a lot of videos a lot of people on YouTube that I don't agree with but I don't make it my personal vendetta to make their life a living hell I mean that's 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 what you're doing um, I mean the fact that you're bringing her children you know her child into this um, her child has been mentioned on your live videos I know every every day for the last three to four days every day um, you're bringing her spouse into it um, you're releasing personal information that was told to you that should never have been released I mean, if somebody tells you something in confidence, why are you going to, why are you going to sit here and tell the world? Because you, you're mad. You got offended. Okay, I get offended every single day. Every single day I'm offended by something. Um, I don't <laughs> okay, not really. But, um, I mean, there's, there's things I watch on TV that, you know, I don't like that. There's things I watch on YouTube. There's things I see on Facebook. On Instagram I don't like that but I don't go and attack the person who did it just to make myself feel better or whatever for whatever reason you're doing it for um, yeah I mean yes you have gained subscribers you have gained viewers through this but like I've mentioned before it's it's just a train wreck it's a train wreck Humans have a natural desire for morbid curiosity. Um, you pass a car accident. Your natural desire is to look. Um, it's, it's the same thing. People are, you know, subscribing to you. And yet some of them are your true followers. Sure, whatever. But then some of them are only there for the drama. They're only there to lurk. They're only there to see what's going on, you know. And then when eventually this all blows over, it, it I mean, it's, they're not going to stick around. Um, but, but it's whatever, you know, you can think whatever, you can believe whatever. Um, but what, I mean, my point of saying this is let it go. Let it go. There's too much hate in this world, way too much, and you know, and I know for a fact that 
this person that supposedly said whatever they said to offend you actually tried to come to you twice two times twice to try to talk to you about it and you know work it out and you know apologize or whatever and twice you rejected them and then you went and then now you're on your YouTube saying oh she won't apologize and she won't do that she tried twice excuse me but um that, that that's not the point and the point is you've got to let it go um it's not healthy for you to be stressed and and to you know mentally to be just keep on and keep on and keep on and you actually mentioned you know that you're never going to let it go why why do that to somebody and you're all you know oh I stand for everybody everybody's welcome everybody's this everybody's that but yet you turn around and make fun of somebody because of their weight because of their disability because of their you know living status because of whatever it is you're making fun of and just anything you're nitpicking at anything and half the stuff you're saying honey you do the same thing and you're the last one that needs to be talking okay but enough about that um you know just God God doesn't like ugly God don't like ugly and I know that you'll probably see this video and I know that you'll probably mention it on your on your live and um I know that you'll probably oh you know talk about how wrong I am for saying that you're wrong <laughs> but honey, it's okay it's okay um I'm just I mean I have my opinion you have yours so I, I mean I just don't see the point in bashing someone for any reason I mean any reason um but that but like I said that's my opinion um but enough about that the second thing I wanted to touch on today about is something I, I personally I deal with um every day and you know and the first and, you know, and they say the first step in recovery is admitting you have a problem now I say that because I have a problem um you know this I, I when I started this channel I didn't really know what it was going to be um but I've had several friends outside of social media people that I actually personally know um, come to me and they, they know that I am struggling with my weight they know that I'm um, they know that I am on a diet and I'm trying to get healthy so they suggested that I make this channel a weight loss channel okay originally I wanted to do that anyway that's what I wanted to do but I'll watch a lot of weight loss journey channels on YouTube and the hate that these people get um, it's ridiculous and I'm sitting here thinking you know what I don't care how big that person is that person is still a human being that person is still a person that person is still beautiful in my eyes and they don't deserve to be talked to like that and I honestly thought you know if I'd make this channel a weight loss channel I'm gonna get those same comments am I gonna be able to handle it is my skin thick enough to be able to just ignore it and stay focused and stay encouraged and you know do what I have to do for my own self um, I've, I've done a lot of soul searching a lot um, because I didn't know if I had thick enough skin but why not you know like a friend of mine told me 
I might be the one that encourages someone else to start their own weight loss journey. I'm healthy themselves. Um, and let me tell you, if my video, I have a very cheap <laughs> uh, prepaid phone and the memory is not great on it. So my phone only allows me to record so many minutes of a video. Um, so a lot of times you, you might notice that, you know, like it looks like I'm editing things out and I'm really not. It's just where my video stopped and I had to restart it. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, the, the, you know, the point of my channel, I, I, I wanted to, I want to encourage other people. I, so, I think I am going to document my weight loss journey. I am now on a diet. Um, low carb. And it's not, it's not strict, you know, it's not keto, it's not Atkins. It's just kind of my own little version, you know, watching my carbs, um, watching my calorie intake, you know, high protein. But, um, what I want to, that's not really what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about is addiction. Um, addiction is a big thing in our, you know, in our country, in our world today. But I'm not talking about drug addiction. I'm not talking about alcohol addiction. I'm not talking about gambling or any other kind of addiction. I don't have an addiction to drugs, alcohol, caffeine even. Um, I, have a food, I have an addiction to food. Um, food addiction is real. People say, well, just stop eating. You know, I, I understand. I get you know, drug addicts. I, I'm not one to just say, well, just stop doing it. Once you're addicted to something, it is hard to overcome. But with drug addiction, alcohol addiction, you go get the help you need. You go to recovery. You get the help. You can stop. Food addiction, though, it's different. It's on a whole different level. Why? Because I cannot stop eating. I have to eat to survive. I will never be free of food. Someone who's on drugs or alcohol, you know, they can be free of those demons. I will never be free of the demon food because I have to eat to survive. So, what I have to do is learn to control my addiction. Um, to recover from the actual addiction part of it. And that is going to be extremely hard. I can admit I am, I am addicted to food. Um, you know, and I, I'm not one of these people who sit and shove massive amounts of food in my face. And I know you're probably thinking, well, if you don't do that, then how'd you get so big? Honey, look. <laughs> um, I do have health problems. Um, I do have hypothyroidism, which makes it hard for me to lose weight. My thyroid does not function. Meaning, I have no metab uh, sorry, I have no metabolism. Um, I have no energy. I am on, you know, thyroid medication for it, but it still is hard to control, and um, it's hard to lose weight. But I'm doing everything I can. Um, I don't want to have gastric bypass surgery. I don't want to have weight loss surgery. At one point in time, I did. I thought that's the answer. You know, I watch the TV shows, um, and hey, it works. For some people, it works. It really does. It's the answer to a lot of prayers. But for me personally, I don't think it would work. And the reason being is because I have such an addiction to food. Um, I need to get help for my 
addiction and because if I cannot control how I eat now what makes me think I'm going to be able to control how I eat after the surgery when I'm eating too much and I'm in the bathroom throwing up and you know puking my guts up because I've literally made myself sick eating um you know I don't make myself sick eating often now but I have I do <coughs> excuse me um but um you know but like I said I'm not one of these people who shoves massive amounts of food in their body I don't sit and eat you know four hamburgers and two large fries and you know or um, you know, I don't go out to eat Chinese and an hour later go to Arby's. I, I'm not like that. But my problem is, number one, portion control. I know, I just said I don't eat massive amounts of food. Because I don't. But, instead of, like, okay, just for example, say we go to McDonald's. Instead of getting one McDouble, sorry, my video cut off, but um, instead of just eating one, I eat two. Because my mind tells me, if you just eat one, you're not going to be full. I feel like my mind tricks me and tells me that when I eat, I have to get full. Um, and that's what my main thing that I'm going to have to work on. Um, you know, I eat one McDouble and I'm so hungry. A normal person who doesn't have a food addiction, you know, they would be like, you know, that's enough. But I have to have two. Not three, not four, not five, two. Um, I don't know what it is about just two. Um, when I cook at home, which I love to cook, and that's another thing that I'm going to deal with because with the food addiction, you know, with drugs, you know, if it's not there in your house, it's easier to not be tempted for it. I mean, I mean, not necessarily in your house, but if you're away from the temptation, it's easier to deal with, I guess. Um, but I, I, I can't be, I cannot be away from the temptation because I walk in my kitchen and there it is. Yes, I can... I can eat as much healthy food as I want. And here's the thing about that too. I can eat healthy. But my mind is still telling me you need more. Even though it's healthy food, it's still not good for you to eat more than, you know, a portion. Um like I don't know, just just for example, say, I don't know, rice cakes. <laughs> I mean, just say rice cakes, for example, or, um, you know, something, something healthy, a granola bar. Like, I get a granola bar or a rice cake, and I eat one, and my mind is telling me that's not enough. You need another one. So what happens I get another one you know and but in, in my head I'm telling myself but it's healthy you know and that's that's one of the main things that I'm dealing with right now um, I am um, getting ready to start go, start therapy for my food addiction I have talked to a counselor um, 
my insurance does not cover her. Um, and that's, that's another thing I deal with. I'm not rich. My husband works his butt off. I do have income. But we're not rich. Um, you know, it's hard to live on just even two, two incomes nowadays. Especially when one is just, uh, you know, it's not a full income. I don't consider it an income. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but it's hard to live comfortable when you don't make a lot of money. And, you know, people say oh, it's hard to eat healthy when you're poor. To some degree, I, some, you know, I agree. Um, but I keep telling myself, if I stop buying the junk, I'll have more money for the healthy stuff. But then, I go to the grocery store, and I'm looking, and I'm like, the, the cost does not even compare, though. Because, you can buy a box of Little Debbie cakes for a dollar. You can buy, like I said, a box of... Little Debbie's for $1.99. You can buy a bag of chips for $2. You can buy, you know, a, a frozen pizza. The, you know, the Totino's frozen pizzas, the party pizzas, are my absolute favorite frozen pizza ever. You know, and there's actually, I think, I believe the serving size is half a pizza. I eat a whole one um, because I don't get full off of half a pizza. But um, they're like a dollar or something. And then you go and you stroll over to the fresh produce, and you've got cauliflower for three ninety nine a pound. You've got broccoli for five dollars a pound. You've got. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. My allergies are acting up really bad. <coughs> I'm sorry. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, like I said, my allergies are acting up really bad. It's been... I live in Tennessee. So, if... <laughs> if nobody knows... Tennessee weather is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> two days ago, it was like 70. It was beautiful. It was amazing. Yesterday, it rained all day. Today, it's just kind of, you know, it, it's nice. But a little chilly to me. But anyway, but the, the al my allergies are going crazy. But anyway, like I said, you can get the Totino's party pieces or the junk for fairly cheap but then you go to the produce and the vegetables are like 49 on you know 499 a pound or you know you go to the meat section and you chicken I mean I buy a lot of chicken um, chicken is one of the cheaper meats but it's even ridiculous um, and and don't even get me talking about beef I mean you need that high protein diet but how am I supposed to get that if I can't afford the high protein meats um but I'm I'm doing the best I can with what I have right now um but I am struggling I am struggling because you know like the other day I had um bought some Excuse me, sorry, my camera keeps slipping. I thought, well, I'm going to buy some stuff that I can eat for lunches. Because, you know, my husband works during the day. And I'm here and, you know, I need something healthy to eat for lunch. So I, I got some, you know, oven roasted turkey breast lunch meat. 
Um, no nitrates, no, all, you know, as healthy as I could possibly get it. <clears throat> um, I got some mozzarella string cheese and some pepper jack string cheese, which the pepper jack has zero carbs and the mozzarella had like less, it said, it said less, oh, the stupid phone. Um, I want to have to cut this short, <laughs> but I don't even know if this video really has a point. I guess I just wanted to say that um, yeah, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm on a weight loss journey. I want you all to follow me in that weight loss journey. I hope to be able to encourage someone else to maybe get healthy. Um, I'm going to fail. Be nice. <laughs> Which, I mean, I know not everybody's going to be nice. I know I'm going to get the hateful comments that, oh, she's so fat. Oh, why is she eating that? Oh, why this? Why that? Get over it, okay? I'm doing what I can do to make myself healthy. And it's for me. It's not for you. It's for me. Um, It's not for anyone else but myself. So, basically, I just want to say, you know, my, my, the first step in recovery is admitting you have a problem. I'm admitting that I have food addiction. I have an addiction to food. I am going to seek help for that addiction. And then maybe I can train my brain to think different than it does. And I can eat to live instead of live to eat. But anyway, that's that's my that's my vlog for the day. That's my uh, my spiel. So, hope you all enjoy it. Be nice to each other, people. Be nice. It's not that hard. Love each other. Support each other. If, you know, if you don't agree with something somebody says, take it up with them privately, if you must. But, and just, but just be nice. Anyway, love you guys. You're beautiful.